So I'm currently at Dalwoody Station and we're going to carry on visiting every single station on this Highland Mayline Challenge. Keep the noise down, I'm trying to sleep, I'm on the night shift tonight! God's sakes! Dalwini Station is where I'm currently at and this opened on the 9th of September 1863 by the Inverness and Perth Junction Railway. Also, what you saw Jordan coming out from is on platform 2 over there, a small waiting room. The door was open so I had a quick look in myself and all there is is just a bench in there as you've just seen right now. <laughs> So also at the north end of Dalwilly, we do get a disused water tower and also there's a signal box there as well. Now we're going to be leaving this station on the 1402 Scotrail service which goes to Edinburgh Waverley but we're going to pick Lockery. And I can literally see on the board on platform 2 that we're going to run into some trouble and this is not good to be honest but I'm not going to say what it is until we get to pick Lockery. So we have now reached Pick Lockery. This station opened on the 9th of September 1863 by the Inverness and Perth Junction Railway. The station building became listed in 1994. Now what I saw at Dalwilly was, was on the board before my trailer ride to head to Pick Lockery. Because the train that was going to catch the car bridge was being delayed due to an issue with the train crew. And then after that, it got cancelled. So unfortunately, my train to Carbridge has got cancelled at Pig Lockery. But all is not lost, because Scotrail have put on an additional train. It's running as 1Z17, which starts at Perth and it is going to Inverness, and it's also stopping at Carbridge. So the problem that I had has really been rectified. Also at Pick Lockery Railway Station where Jordan's just right behind is a bookshop, Pick Lockery Bookshop which supports charities and honestly they do have a nice range of railway books in there as well. Well that's that... bought all the Thomas books. What's that? I bought all the Thomas books. <laughs> oh Patty's brought all the Thomas books. We're now on board 1Z17, the 1521 to Inverness, we're going to Carbridge on this service. And honestly, we have not got many stations left to go. So thankfully, Scott Rail did put that extra train on and we have got to Carbridge at the right time and would have got here anyway. Now Carbridge, when the railway was opened in 1863 between Inverness and Perth, there was no railway station here. In fact, there was no railway lines here. 
Carbridge never got its station until the 18th of July 1892 by the Highlands Railway as a branch line from Aviemore. It wasn't connected till Inverness till 1898. And this was known as the Inverness and Abbey Moor direct line. However, though, there was plans earlier on to get to Carbridge. In 1846, Joseph Mitchell proposed a line from Elgin and Inverness to meet here at Nairn and then head down towards Carbridge, King Goosey, and on to Perth. That got rejected, though. But, however, when the line did open in 1863, it actually went to Aviemore, but a completely different way for Inverness. But when we get to Aviemore, I'll explain more about that line. wonder why the Highlands Railway actually built Carbridge Station like about 15 minutes away from the village itself because honestly there is nothing around here. Is that right Jordan? Nothing at all sir, nothing at all. Nothing at all. But we shall be leaving on the 1758 Scott Rail service that goes to Glasgow Queen Street but we are getting off at Avimoa. But there is plenty in Aviemore, which is good. Just expensive. Yeah, yeah, and expensive as well. So our train will be arriving very shortly, but it has to wait here for another train to come from Aviemore first. Honestly, there has been some good station buildings between Perth and Inverness on the Highlands Bay Line, but I think I saved the best one till last because we're now at Aviemore. The station buildings here are just absolutely stunning, really stunning. And honestly, this station actually opened it all earlier in 1863, it opened on the 3rd of August 1863. Also, you could change here for services on the Strathfay Railway, which is a heritage line that runs from Aviemore to Brew Hill. But that line is also part of the original line that was opened by the Inverness and Perth Junction Railway. And they took trains to Forest Station. This station opened in 2017, but the original station was just beyond the bridge, right behind in the background, as you can just see right now. However, though, that original station beyond the bridge is not here. It's actually where all these timber stacks are, right behind me here. That's where the original Forest Station was. The first station opened here in 1858, but the Inverness and Perth Junction Railway rebuilt the station on the 3rd of August 1863 to a triangle station. In 1896, when the direct route from Aviemore to Inverness was opened by a car bridge, the line from Forest to Aviemore became a second day route and it closed in 1865. So I'm actually outside Aviemore Station and there's like no fast food restaurants between Perth and Inverness. So I thought I decided actually to go to the chippy instead here. So I went to a chippy called Smithy's and got myself what they call up here a fish supper. Had a good chips. And honestly, the chips are actually quite nice to be honest. Even though this did cost me £10.95. Honestly, that was a lovely fish supper. You had a sausage, did you, Jordan? 
He had a sausage supper. Sausage supper, yeah. I had a fish supper. Quite nice actually. But it is tied to leave Aviebor on the 1933 service to get to Perth, which is our last station. This is our last train that we're catching. Good, and it's no HST Amber region, it's no. Yeah, unfortunately it's a class 170 turbo star. But we have visited all the intermediate stations, we just gotta visit one more. So we have now reached Perth and this opens on the 22nd of May 1848 by the Scottish Central Railway. The first part of the Highland Main Line was built by the Perth and Dunkeld Railway in 1856. And honestly, Perth station just looks beautiful and honestly so does the Highland Main Line. All the stations that have been visited, splendid in their own rights. And to do it in a day has really been a challenge. Like I've just started to feel it now after setting off in Bless at 5.36 in the morning. Really feeling it right now. But I have visited every single station on the Highland May Line. And honestly, I think it was better to do it two days than one day. So if you want to know a bit more about Perth Station and also the Dundee and Perth Railway, videos popping up right here now, feel free to give that a click. The people on screen now, YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters, thank you very much for supporting the channel. I've been Simon Trains, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you on board the Cyber Express for the next railway journey down the line. And honestly, I am knackered. Thanks for watching.